Hey everyone, I know unboxings are totally passe, but I wanted to go ahead and do one for the Palm Pixie anyway. Just so I could show you a couple of things that might uh, happen to you during the setup. So here's your box. It's uh, the standard Palm box that we've come to know and love. And, but uh there it is. And boy, it is teeny tiny. No buttons on the front, of course. We've come to expect that now. They got rid of the center button. We've got our clicky keyboard, which is pretty good. Nothing around here on the side. We've got a little hole back here. You'd be tempted to think that is the microphone hole, but no, that is for a lanyard. The microphone hole is actually this little teeny tiny guy over by the symbol button. Here over on the other side is where your micro USB port is, and it's a little bit janky, but you can get to it, not too bad. And then you've got your volume button, and of course your ringer switch. On the back you've got your I believe it's a 2 megapixel camera, which is a little bit disappointing in terms of megapixels, but it does have a flash. And it looks like dual speakers, but it is not in fact dual speakers. There is just one. They just have two ports for it. And then of course your 3.5 millimeter headset jack and your power button, which we'll hit now. And they want us to set up our Palm Profile. So we'll go ahead and do that. After it sets the language, you can see it getting started here. Uh, we've got a pretty decent Evdo signal, so hopefully the setup won't take too long. Of course, uh, we do not have Wi-Fi, and uh, the Pixie just doesn't support it, which is a bummer. So we can hit next here. The phone's been activated, and we're going to accept their terms and conditions. And I'm going to sign into my Palm profile that I already have created. Most people are going to create a new profile where you just give them an email address. The thing to remember about the Palm profile is if you're upgrading from a pre, you can only have uh, one profile active per phone. So if you try and have two phones going to the same Palm profile, you're basically looking at a recipe for disaster. So I'll go ahead and sign into my Palm profile. Oh, this key. Okay. Uh, the reason I, I'm showing you this is while it is signing in, I wanted to show you what it is like to put the Touchstone battery door on it. This is a standard battery door. It's a nice soft touch paint, uh, but it's smooth. The Touchstone battery door is got a like it's pitted. I guess it's got these little nodules on it and it is the touchstone. Now the battery door actually, here we go with our Palm Profile, the battery door actually goes all the way around the phone, all the way up to the front, and it's, um, it's kind of difficult to get off. And So the way you do it is you want to start over here by the ringer switch and get your fingernails up over on the front of it, pull down, and then continue along to the other side, and then once that's done, you've got it pretty much off. Go back here, there you go and you can put the touchstone battery door on. I like to start on the side with a ringer switch since that does stick out a bit and give it a nice solid click all the way around and bada bing. Reach up here to turn the phone back on and you can see it is still signing in. So we're going to let it download all that data. There it is on a touchstone. Pretty slick. And uh, we will come back to you with lots and lots and lots more coverage of the Palm Pixie explaining how the whole thing works, talking about WebOS 1.3.1, uh, and, uh, you know, seeing if this is a good phone for your average consumer. So uh, check back, precentral.net.